Hi, I'm Noelle Cellini, owner of My Best Foot Forward. In this video, I'm going to go over the different types of skirts and which styles work best for the specific body types. So the first style I'm going to talk about is a pencil skirt. And a pencil skirt means that it comes in and hugs the body, which is what I'm wearing here. So that means that it can either show off your curves, which is what I'm looking to do since I'm an hourglass. I do have defined shoulders, a waist, and I do have hips. Or you can wear a pencil skirt if you're looking to give your body curves. So somebody like a rectangle who's straight up and down would benefit from a pencil skirt because it would give them curves that they don't naturally have. So another style is a straight skirt. And if you can see in this one, that means that it comes from the hip and falls straight down. Whereas a pencil skirt would narrow in a little bit. So a straight skirt will, will work for every body type. However, it's not really the best for a rectangle because it makes them look more rectangular, more straight up and down. So they want to look for something kind of the opposite of their body shape, but this would work well for every body type. Another style is the A-line skirt, and that means that from the waistband, it comes out and creates the look of a capital A. So if I hold that out, you can see that it gets slightly wider at the bottom. Now some A-lines are, are more fuller, some are a little bit narrower, but this style will actually work on every body type as well. And it works nice for concealing hips and thighs, so that's a, a good positive thing to look for. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like on a body. So I have Judy here in her A-line skirt, and if you can see just kind of a gentle a gentle A just slightly comes out, straight skirt falls straight down, a pencil skirt narrows in. So this creates a nice, a little bit fluidity and a, a little bit of femininity for Judy's body type, which is rectangular. So we kind of counter counteract that with a skirt that gives her, you know, some nice curves and some movements. So thank you for that. Another style is a circle skirt which means that they actually cut the fabric in a circle and it's a lot fuller. This would be a skirt that you could, you know, twirl and dance around in. And this would be good on somebody who's looking to give their body, you know, some more fullness. Somebody like an apple who has broad shoulders, this will help balance out broad shoulders. Somebody like a rectangle, again, this will give them some feminine curves, some movement because they're very straight up and down. This skirt looks horrible on me because it's too much, too much volume. I'm looking for something much more tailored and more fitted. Some pairs can do this. It all depends on how full the skir skirt is. If it's not too full, then, then it works for somebody who's a pair. And lastly, I want to show, this is a straight skirt, but with a peplum hem. So there's a little bit of a flounce at the bottom. This is nice if you have a larger bust. This would work well for somebody who's an apple, so not necessarily a larger bust, but they have broad shoulders that would help balance this out. This would work well on an hourglass on my shape because it's still fitted in through here, and then we just get a little bit, you know, of, um, of flare out at the bottom. And it would also work well for a rectangle because even though it's straight, again, it's, we still get that, you know, femininity at the bottom with the, um, flounce that's going on. So hopefully that will give you some guidelines as to what to look for. A-line will work on every body type. Straight will. It's not the best for a rectangle. And then look for a pencil if you're looking to add some curves.